Yahoo News. Together now with ABC News. It's time to see the whole picture. Hello, everyone, our fans online. I'm Mohamed Lila. And I'm Marcy Gonzalez with the top stories on this Friday, January 10th. A chemical spill in West Virginia has contaminated the water supply to more than 100,000 homes and businesses and led to a state of emergency. A big storage tank holding a chemical used to wash coal of impurities has leaked into the Elk River. Everyone has been ordered not to drink the tap water or use it for cooking, washing, or bathing. Emergency supplies of water are are being trucked in. The first lawsuits are being filed in the growing George Washington Bridge scandal. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie publicly apologized yesterday, denying any knowledge or involvement in his top staffers partially shutting down the nation's busiest bridge. It happened in September, apparently in retaliation against the Democratic mayor of Fort Lee, New Jersey, refusing to endorse Christie in November's election. As the Arctic blast loosens its grip, the thaw is revealing some hidden disasters. The latest estimates say the polar vortex cost the economy $5 billion. That includes property damage, lost productivity in the economy with people not being able to get to work, and 20,000 flights delayed or canceled. It is the biggest economic disruption since Superstorm Sandy. And brace yourselves for another storm, this one coming from space. A solar storm is hurling a billion tons of magnetized particles towards Earth at 2 million miles an hour. That's pretty fast. Navigation and communication systems could take a hit from all the radiation, but on the bright side, literally, the solar flare-ups could create the most dramatic northern lights displays in years. And you can get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Marcy Gonzalez. And I'm Mohammed Leela. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. A healthy 29 year old mother comes down with the flu. She had a cough and runny nose. And doesn't survive it. Tonight, what makes this year's flu so deadly and why are young adults at greater risk? Protect yourself and your family. Watch World News with Diane Sawyer on ABC.